fertilization atau persenyawaan is a process of fusion between a haploid male and haploid female gamete to produce a diploid zygote. This process occurs at the early site of fallopian tube or ovita. In this video, we are going to focus on the four stages of fertilization. The first stage of fertilization is capacitation, yaitu istilah ini berasal daripada perkataan capacity. During stage 1, capacitation means boost the capacity of matured sperm, which are spermatozoa in terms of their mortality. So, when the mortality is increased, this capacitated sperm able to penetrate through corona radiata, yaitu a uh, Lapisan sel yang dipanggil sebagai granulosa cells yang mengelilingi secondary oocyte until they reach at the zona pellucida, which is the thick glycoprotein layer. So capacitation is actually a process to enable functional maturation of spermatozoon through the female secretion in the reproductive. Tree. Maksudnya, walaupun sperm itu adalah matang dari segi struktur, tapi dari segi fungsi, dia memerlukan uh, rangsangan or we say bantuan female secretion. So, apakah yang berlaku semasa capacitation adalah beberapa molekul akan mengalami perubahan. First, the removal of glycoprotein layer of the cell membrane to expose the receptor at the sperm head. Second, the removal of cholesterol, glycoprotein, and proteins of the acrosomal cap for acrosomal reaction. So this diagram shows us a brief uh, happening or brief events happens to the capacitated sperms through the removal of the cholesterol coating and also the removal of cholesterol, glycoprotein, and proteins at the acrosomal head to get ready for the second stage of fertilization. The second stage of fertilization is acrosomal reaction. So, nama stage ini telah menunjukkan kepentingan acrosom. Acrosomal reaction bermula dengan the binding between the complementary membrane protein of the sperm with the specific receptor on the zona pellucida of the secondary oocyte. So, these two molecules are complementary to each other, means that their conformation is compatible to each other. After the binding between the complementary proteins between the two gametes, the membrane of acrosome will fuse with the membrane of the sperm head and release the hydrolytic enzyme through exocytosis. The hydrolytic enzymes able to hydrolyze or break down the zona pellucida and enable the penetration of sperm to reach at the membrane of secondary oocyte. The hydrolytic enzymes found in acrosome consists of hyaluronidase and protease or called as acrosin. This picture shows us how the acrosome, the membrane, can fuse with the membrane of the sperm head and release the enzymes through exocytosis. After the zona pellucida is lysed by the hydrolytic enzyme during acrosomal reaction, it enable the binding of membrane proteins of the sperm bind to the receptor on the egg membrane. And this will lead to the third stage of fertilization, which is fusion of sperm head and oocyte membrane. So if we focus on this picture, we can notice that these two membranes are fused. When the fusion occurs, the nucleus of the sperm will be released into the cytoplasm of the secondary oocyte. The entry of sperm nucleus into the cytoplasm of secondary oocyte 
stimulate the completion of meiosis 2. The secondary oocyte is actually arrested at metaphase 2. So now it's able to proceed to anaphase 2 and telophase 2 followed by cytokinesis to produce larger haploid ovum and smaller second polar body. The last stage of fertilization is cortical reaction. Nama peringkat ini telah menekankan kepentingan cortical granule yang dijumpai dalam cytoplasm of the ovum. This stage is triggered by the fusion of membranes of the two gametes and cause the release of calcium ion from the endoplasmic reticulum found in the cytoplasm of itself. So, dengan pertambahan kepekatan atau concentration calcium ion yang bercharge positif ini akan menyebabkan uh, cortical granules move towards the membrane of the egg cell. So, at the end, the cortical granules will fuse with the membrane of the egg cell and release the enzyme through exocytosis into perivitaline space. Yaitu satu ruang yang sangat kecil di antara membrane of the egg cell with the zona pellucida. Then, when more cortical granules move towards the membrane of the egg cell and fuse with the membrane of egg cell until they release the enzyme into the perivitaline space, they able to push the zona pellucida away from the egg membrane. And at the same time, the zona pellucida will undergo hardening process and become a fertilization envelope. This process consumes time. That's why it's called as a slow block to polyspermy. So, tujuan dia ialah untuk mengelakkan uh, kemasukan lebih daripada satu sperm dalam satu plasm of the egg cell. This animated diagram show us the summary of four stages in fertilization. When a sperm are uh, able to penetrate the zona pellucida until they fuse with the membrane of secondary oocyte and release the nucleus into the cytoplasm of the secondary oocyte will cause the completion of meiosis 2 in secondary oocyte to produce larger haploid ovum and the second polar body. If you refer back to the previous lecture notes, you will notice that the first polar body produced after meiosis 1 are actually enclosed by the zona pellucida together with the secondary oversight. So the first polar body may or may not complete the meiosis 2. No matter how, all the polar bodies will be disintegrated. When a sperm able to release the nucleus into the cytoplasm of the egg cell, the tear falls off. The haploid nucleus of the sperm will swell or become larger, slightly larger in size and merge with the nucleus of the egg. Fertilization occurs means that the two haploid nuclei will fuse to become a diploid Zyphod. The fusion of two haploid gametes will immediately proceed to their first cell cycle, include the S stage or the process regard to DNA synthesis to complete the first cell division, become a two cell zygote, and followed by four cell, S cell, and subsequently. As a summary, Fertilization begins with the arrival of capacitated sperms at the corona radiata. Capacitated sperms means they show increased mortality. So they able to penetrate the layer of granulosa cells they found at the outermost layer of the secondary oocyte. During a chromosomal reaction, the hydrolytic enzyme will be released and lines the zona pellucida. When the membrane of sperm head fills with the membrane of secondary oocyte, it able to stimulate a few reactions to be occur. First is cortical reaction. 
which means the cortical granules able to move towards the membrane of the secondary oocyte, fuse with it, and release the enzyme into the perivitelline space. This reaction able to push the zona pellucida away from the egg cell and form the fertilization envelope because the zona pellucida will be heightened and this enables slow block of polyspermy. Other than that, the secondary oocyte will complete their meiosis too, which produce haploid ovum and secondary polar body. And fertilization is completed when the nucleus of the sperm fuses with the nucleus of itself and form a diploid zygote.